Howdy folks, I'm going to show you how to order office supplies in Akibai. First thing that you want to do is log in to SSO and then click on Akibai. And then on this front page, you're looking for this Office Max Hub Partner Today's Business Solutions link. Just click on that. It'll take you to the Office Max Punch Out catalog. And you can click on Create New Order. And then you can just go up here to search for whatever you need. So for example, if we needed correction tape, you can search for it here. So I'm just going to scroll through until I see the kind of correction tape that I like. If you see this C next to an item, that means that it's a contract item, part of Texas A&M's contract with Today's Business Solutions. You don't have to order contract items, but if you do, you're usually getting a really good deal. So this is the kind that I want right here. I can just put in a number here and click Add to Cart, or you can click on the link and see the details about the item and then you can add here. You can also add it to your shopping list, which means that it'll save that item for future purchases. Um, so the next time you log back in, you can just click on your shopping list and see what you've purchased before, rather than having to search through a bunch of items again. So you put in the quantity that you want, click Add to Cart, And then you can keep searching up here. If there's anything that you want to add, you can do that. Keep going as long as you like. Um, you notice that it's got a, a ticker up here that shows when your Aggie Buy session is going to expire. So this means that you can keep shopping in here for as long as you want, but if you let this ticker run out, then when you go back to Aggie Buy, it's going to forget everything that you've done. So just keep an eye on this. Make sure that it doesn't get down to zero. You can click reset session at any time and it'll refresh the Agibuy session so that you can keep shopping in the TBS website longer than 30 minutes and it will still remember who you are when you get back to Agibuy. When you're ready to go, you just click checkout. And then it takes you back to your shopping cart in Agibuy. You just fill in the information about your purchase here. In the cart name, you always want to put vendor dash description. So here we're putting Office Max and then correction tape. And then in the cart description and purpose, you want to put what it's for. So this is for the business office. If it was for a specific professor or a specific project, you could put that there might help us determine correct sub-account or correct account to pay it on. If you're placing this order for someone other than yourself, you can click select a different user here under the prepared for field. So if I was placing this order for Angela Mayorga, I could type her name in here, click her name there, and then it'll show that this order is actually for her. So then when she logs into Agibuy, she'll be able to see this under her orders. And then under order category, you want to click select from all values and choose regular. Regular order means that you want the order to be sent to the vendor, which is what we want here. And then in fun type, if it's not already selected as local, you want to click select from all values and then choose local and then just click save and then proceed to checkout. We want to verify that you've got the correct shipping address and the correct account code. First we'll look at the shipping address. It defaults to the, the default shipping address for whoever you put under prepared for. So here it shows that it's going to ship to Angela in the business office. If you wanted to change that you can just click edit and you could choose a different address here like this one would go to room 122, this one would come to room 206, 
This one will go to room 124B. In this case, I want it to come to room 206, so I'll click Save. And then down here in the accounting code section, you want to put in the information about which account is going to pay for the charge. You might already have a department code here by default. Depending on which account you're using, you may need to change that, but you can just type it in, whatever it is. It might be 02-LAUP, 02-ARCH, etc. And then the account number, you can type it in right here. And it, if you just know the six-digit account number, then you'll want to add the system part number in, in front of it, which is 02 dash. And you can put in the account number. I'll put in the business office account, which is 241190. And then another dash. And then if there's a numerical support account number, you can put that here. If not, you just put five zeros. And if you know the name of the sub-account or um, you know, project that you're going to put it on, you can put that information here in the report reference C, like if it was on operating or um, a particular center's account, you could put that here. I'll just put operating. If you wanted to split the order between accounts, you could click add split, and you can either split by percent of price or amount of price, and you can change the information on the second line. Uh, indicate how much you want to put on each one and then click recalculate and save. You can also add more splits if you wanted to add another one. And in this case we don't want to split it so I'll just click remove here and then recalculate and save. It saves the account number. And if there are any notes that you wanted to add about the purchase, anything that might be relevant, you can just click edit here, add your note, click save. I always like to scroll down and make sure that my order looks like I think it's going to. It does. So I'll scroll back up to the top and then click Submit Order. That's it. You're done. If you want to come back and see what the status of this order is at any time, you can look up this requisition number. If you have any questions, you can just contact someone in the business office and we'll be happy to help.